Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stage of Cancer Show X! Uh, we are going to do more improv for you, but I uh, do want to tell you about a couple things. Uh, first and foremost, you are seeing Show X, which is uh, one of the six nights that you can come here and watch improv. So, uh, Huge Theater is a nonprofit, um, so uh, you can be a member, uh, or you can just keep coming to shows, and that helps us uh, uh, stay alive as a, a theater. And we appreciate you uh, coming to uh, 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 laugh and giggle with us. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, Show X happens every Monday night. Uh, uh, the first Monday night of each month, obviously, is our Celebrity Armando, but um, we have a ro rotating cast of 15, uh, so you can come back any Monday night and, uh, and see a lot of these faces again and some other faces as well. So please come back to Show X. Um, and uh, if you want to find out uh, who our next Celebrity Armando uh, will be, uh, we always announce uh, first on our uh, Twitter and Facebook uh, pages. So follow us on Twitter, at ShowXImprov, uh, and find us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash ShowXImprov, probably. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is that right? Okay. Uh, perfect. So, uh, and then the final thing I want to uh, tell you about is uh, uh, this phenomenal summer festival that happens here at Huge Theater um, that is produced and put on by uh, local group Five Man Job, of which you see two members uh, on stage, uh, which is the Twin Cities Improv Festival. Um, now in its ninth year, yes, that's clappable. Um, uh, it's in its ninth year. Um, it is a phenomenal mix uh, of uh, the best of uh, uh, of local improv and uh, lots of uh, folks that we bring in from out of town uh, that submit to our festival. Uh, we welcome them with open arms and you can see uh, literally, I mean, you should just get the Ultra Pass when it comes out on Friday morning, uh, just because every show is gonna be phenomenal. So uh, that happens the 24th through the 28th. That's a Wednesday through a Sunday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it. Yes. Um, so uh, do come out uh, and check out uh, literally any number of those shows uh, I guarantee you will be pleased with so um, and come find me if you didn't like it I will just, just console you I don't know <laughs> <laughs> but honestly it's gonna be a great time so uh, please uh, we, we hope to see you here again for the festival uh, without any further ado ladies and gentlemen put your hands together again for Kat Perkins <laughs> Maybe do in traditional like improv style. I was thinking of like you guys throwing out some like words. Then maybe I can like do like a, a story of mine off of a word that I'm inspired. So uh, I, on this video, I saw him like go from this way. So just start yelling. Cowboy boots. Words. Ooh, that's good. On. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Rattlesnakes. Ooh, okay, that's really good. Ice cream. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, I got one. All right, here we go. Rattlesnakes and cowboy boots. This is gonna get both of them in there. Um, okay, so when I was sort of finding my way in, in um, music and theater and performing, right, because that's what I wanted to do, I ended up auditioning for the only show that happens in North Dakota, and it's called The Greatest Show in the West. <laughs> it's the only show in the West. <laughs> it's amazing. And um, so it's full of, of cowgirls and cowboys and horses and singing and dancing and yodeling and uh, you name it. Um, actually, the, I'll, I'll kind of put it to you in like four things that it involves. The show involves yay North Dakota, yay America, yay God, and yay, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. Um, and so, yes, in this part of North Dakota, there are rattlesnakes in the west side uh, where I grew up. So e even in our backstage area of the show, it said, beware of rattlesnakes. And you always had to be on the lookout when you were like backstage in a quick change just to hear the no lie. <laughs> yes. Oh, performance.
performing in Western North Dakota. I played the part of a yodeling cowgirl, tattooed cowgirl, maybe not as much, but a tattooed yodeling cowgirl um, that tap danced. <laughs> Still not a lie. Totally true. This place is called the Medora Musical, if you ever yes. want to check it out. <laughs> Western North Dakota, and I have plenty of cowboy boots from my costumes there that simply made it home with me at the end of the run. <laughs> it was the greatest summer stock theater ever. It was 12 weeks, one show a day, unless it rained. But it really never rained. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I began my career as a um, paid performer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, rattlesnake auditions. <laughs> what, what do you have for me? <laughs> really good. Thank you. Yeah, really I've been, been training. Great. Uh, <laughs> do you want my resume or my headshot? Yep, both okay. of those things. And then uh, eat this rat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shuffling off to wait, Buffalo. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I talk to you for a can I talk to you for a second? Can I talk to you for a second? Should I wait in the general area while you talk or should I yes. go? Of course okay. you can. We're not monsters! Fine. We're tappers and clappers and trouncers and flouncers. <laughs> I'm not a triple threat, I'm a four threat. <laughs> Spaghetti? I can't. 
Come on in. Come out of the closet, please. No, I can't. I'm supposed to stay in the dark. No, come on. I, no. Your father's coming home today. Again? For the first time in a long time. Right, but he's come yes, home I before. Yes, I get. I get. <laughs> he said this time it'll be different. What? That's what he said. He, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, no. I'm done chasing tail up around the southwest. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Why are you in the dark? Why aren't you eating spaghetti? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> hey. What the fuck? What the fuck? Roger, do you need a beer? Mom, it's it's not different yet. <laughs> Someday my presidency is immortalized properly. <laughs> I hope so too, President Roosevelt. That's why I've gone to the effort of writing some of your greatest accomplishments into a little musical review. God damn it, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. And I. It's really all that. When I was riding with the Rough Riders, that. More circle glasses for you. Thank you. <laughs> Those are hard to come by out on the prairie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta bring a stock with us. Where are we gonna do this? DC? Some things with a lot of space. A space. lot of space. Why don't you just tell him the truth that you wanted to be the president? When yeah. you saw him face to face, you always told me that's what you do. Panic. I said one day. What's his name that's crossed out and Roosevelt written in o under it? <laughs> Sister J. Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you'd have the guts if you ever met him to tell him you're the one. Boy. <laughs> There's something you want to tell me, Chester? You're Chester. Uh, How long have we known each other? National parks. <laughs> <laughs> you whipped out! <laughs> yeah. I was scared he had the... National Parks, that's a great idea. <laughs> no, I... Uh... Yes! <laughs> You're never gonna get credit for nothing. No. I was supposed to be your vice. I know. <laughs> now we gotta run a goddamn musical. <laughs> we don't mean it. You don't mean it. You wanna run I do, I do. Yay! Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> you know you wish you were saying your own name. <laughs> Try it. Yay, Chester A. Arthur. <laughs> Sounds so good. We, uh, we've got an idea of how to remember you as president, Mr. Arthur. Do you? Yes, we have created a new snack food. It's a cheesy, crunchy snack. And we want to name it after you. Or at least the cheetah, which we are pretty sure we want to represent it. <laughs> we want to name that cheetah Chester. Chester Cheetah. <laughs> After you, Mr. President. You told me you'd stick up for yourself if anyone ever wanted you to sell out. Oh, is it selling out? Yeah, it's selling out! I thought it was a tremendous honor. <laughs> I'm gonna put my face on the side of a mountain. Put my face in a cartoon version under sunglasses. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of social studies. <laughs> like, yay, America! to detach. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to come in to detention. Cool, man. Uh, I've heard about this place. Yes, yeah, they a call lot it the Big time. Show. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, this room would be bigger, but it looks like a classroom they're not using. You just have <laughs> Just haven't let it fill you up yet. Hey, everybody, welcome to the big show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, the big show. Can you get 
I'll just, you know, just, uh, um, this is a punishment. So hey, sure Mrs. Just Stevenson, prepare. I lit your mom on fire. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's true, Rebecca. <laughs> you can stay for dinner. This is a bad kid that I'm trying to... No, keep him away from me. The memories are too much. <laughs> Why'd you just stand there? I didn't have a choice. <laughs> you always have a choice to move away from fire. <laughs> I was making tortas. I didn't want them to burn. I burned instead. I mean, <laughs> I'm back. No. Where are my tortas? <laughs> Rebecca! Mother I'm talking to your mother! Where are my tortas? I tried to make them in What the hell? Flesh flaked off in chunks. In my tortas? <laughs> Some it. little kids came over and tried to burn me alive with a cruel joke because Rebecca's a terrible teacher. <laughs> we all knew that. I'll make you do this then. <laughs> Miss Stevenson, can I, can I rap with you a sec? Well, if you treat the chair with respect, yes. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Pardon me on chair. <laughs> That's French. <laughs> You're the only teacher that can somewhat stand. Well, thank you very much. I try to reach out to every student, I, I think. You. What? Sorry. No, I was okay. talking while you were talking. One of my many flaws. <laughs> I just think it, it means you're enthusiastic, and if you channel that more to not setting people on fire, maybe it'd go someplace. Mrs. Stevenson, yeah. can I confide in you? Is it about fire? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> All those times I tried cigarettes, I was wishing they were honey sticks. <laughs> I heard one that you're using my thing of setting people on fire, and two, no. that you fucking like Mrs. Stevenson? Uh, no! No! <laughs> and three? And three? Don't. That when I bummed you my Paul Mall, you thought it was wild clover honey stick. What kind of douchebag are you? <laughs> Get out of the big show, we don't want you <laughs> Right, we don't want you here. <laughs> I'm Randy, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> no, I belong in the big show. I took I took a, a lunch-sized package of Frito-Lays and I fucked, flinged them near the trash. <laughs> but none of them went in. <laughs> Mrs. Stevenson is now here to light you on a fire. I just want to make sure Stevenson, we keep our respect. Stevenson, I swear to God. <laughs> That's all right. Just keep, just keep going. No. You know what? No. Whoa. <laughs> Mrs. Stevenson's a triple threat. Honestly, uh, careful. <laughs> the chairs. The chairs. I'm sorry, Mrs. Stevenson, you're right. Pardon et moi, chair. Randy, what the hell? You look like you've seen a ghost. We haven't seen you since eighth grade. I didn't know detention ended. <laughs> uh, uh, I oh my god, you're all pale and. Mark, right? did you want something? Look who's home. Randy. Mom? My boy? Hi. <laughs> You've got a beard now. Yeah, they don't have razors at school. Nor should they. <laughs> hey, Mom and Dad, I'm home. Oh, uh. You, we had a, another kid while you were. Why? Uh, because we lost one, and so we replaced it. We had the extra room, and Why didn't if, you we, if we let the population get too low, we have to close down the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you look for me we where did. I was? We did. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we looked for you for three hours. I don't know. We came out to see if you're real. Look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm clammy. I... It's okay. Your, your room isn't 
yours anymore. Why don't you head up to your room and start your homework? Okay. You if could that's... room with me. It could be. We could put a sign on the door. Randy and better Randy's room. I'm not a big fan. I'm a Randy. You named him Randy? Yeah. Better Randy. Yeah, but we replaced you because you were missing. This is better Randy. Is this spelled better. different? Oh, it's better actually is my better first Randy. name, yeah. and then Randy is my middle name. Uh, <laughs> well, you wouldn't think you'd ever hear it, you know, out loud. Right. I was alive. I was in a classroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, we looked for, for three, three at least three hours. <laughs> I mean, I waited in the car most of the time. I went to the textbook room. I said, "Is anyone in here that looks like a boy named Randy?" And they said, "No." And so I went home, and we got to calculating. Was, that was me. I was. <laughs> I was kidding. I said no, and you believe me. Why would you tease me? Why like would you that? say? Why would you? I'm your mother. I'm your mother was upset for most of the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> There was almost no joy in it. Uh, oh. <laughs> now there's joy because we have better Randy. And that's how I was made. Come get me. <laughs> Please forgive us. I don't know that I can do that. Here, take your backpack off. No. It's all I've got. <laughs> Randy, is your backpack fused to your body? No, I can take it off. Prove it. It's just all I've got. <laughs> options for food and pizza and pizza <laughs> egg rolls from super america or <laughs> so good they're so good no no they're not <laughs> um uh, okay so uh when i started the band scarlet haze we we toured several different times and we went on this big west coast tour and you know we're like 24 25 years old and it's a big deal and we're gonna go from minneapolis to la and back and this is our tour pretty sure we had my mom's gas card to do this <laughs> <laughs> um so we go to the gas station right so we're we're at the gas station and i'm like i'm not gonna go in i'm really tired i'm just gonna stay in here and i decide to stay in the vehicle everybody goes in to the gas station to get their pizza and their egg rolls. And we're in like the middle of nowhere, South Dakota or Omaha or somewhere in Nebraska. It was like South, not in North Dakota, but like South. I don't even know where. And, um, and so I stayed in there and then I was like, oh, I should really pee. I should pee before we go. Like I should totally pee because I'm the one that has to stop and you know make them stop all the time to pee. So I'm like, oh God, I should totally do that. So. I leave my wallet and my phone and everything in the van and I get out of my blanket and I go into the gas station and and I go pee and I come out and the van's not there outside. <laughs> I was like, oh, you guys are so funny. I'm sure they're just around the corner or whatever. So I go like, around the corner. No van. <laughs> No van. There's no van. There's no van. And we're traveling with another band who I see go by on the highway. Shoo. I'm like, oh, there's the other band. There's the other band. There's, seriously, is this really happening? My phone is in that van. My wallet, everything, they're gone. How am I going to call them? I don't know anybody's number. This is 2004. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like 
dad's cell and Shane's cell and drummer's cell and guitar player's cell number. Um, right? So I'm like, oh my, seriously. And we're in like a different state. So even if I knew somebody's number, how am I going to call? It's like long distance still, right? I, like a pay phone if I could borrow 50 cents. <laughs> I mean, I go through all these things in my mind, plus I had just woken up from a nap, and I'm probably super hungry. And so I decided to ask the gas station attendant, and I looked like last night's party. <laughs> it was a rock band, for God's sakes. And I was like, hi, can I, like, I need to use a phone. I'm in a band, I think that's, yeah, I'm in a band, and they left me here, and I went to the <laughs> You know, they're like, what? Seriously? I don't know. I don't know about using any phone or anything. I don't know about that. Well, there's a pay phone. I was like, I don't have any money. I, my wallet isn't the thing, and I have nothing. And so the woman said, like, okay, use my cell phone. I'm like, well, I have to call a Minnesota number. Is that okay? This is 2004. There's not necessarily all long distance included in these things back then. She's like, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. So I'm like, oh, what? or any of these people's numbers. <laughs> <laughs> My ex-husband, right? Okay, ex-husband is in the band, so with me I'm like, God, what the hell is his number? What the hell is his number? And I sit there, so think, 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 think. Like, nope, can't, can't think of it. Call my mom and dad in <laughs> North Dakota. Hey, do you guys have my ex-husband's phone number? <laughs> I'm sitting at a gas station. It's a long story. Anyway, what's his phone number? Like, oh, let me look it up. Hold on, one second. Dad, what's his what? And it, you know, this whole thing happens at home. Thank God they answered their landline. <laughs> they pull up his number. Like, oh, thank God. Thank you so much. So I actually asked the woman to ask me, can I make one more phone call? It's going to be a long distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I call the number, boom, get it. Hey, you guys, I'm not in the van. I'm not in the van. They're like, oh, I wondered why the door said door ajar. <laughs> <laughs> it only added on like, I don't know, like 30 minutes to the drive, they came back and got me in. <laughs> Seriously, I've been your bass player for two years. You don't even know my first name, do you? <laughs> I didn't really think it come. You can't just call me bass player for two years. <laughs> that's, that's who you are to me, okay? That's what I see you as. It's the energy I get from you. So, I mean, shadow guy is fine. <laughs> I'll be back here. <laughs> you seriously don't even know my I name, do you? I know your name. Do you? I would just rather recognize you by your artistry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know you can't have shadow without light. <laughs> Stay out of this shadow guy. What's. Seriously, what's it gonna take? It's. I feel like I'm just your bass player. That's it. Just like I'm your backing band. <laughs> no, and you were wearing that T-shirt that has your name on yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> my my name and my photo. Wow. <laughs> of me playing bass. <laughs> <laughs> With that arrow pointing directly to the picture of your own face. Right. Man. I gotta quit this band. I mean, how am I supposed to know? I gotta quit this band. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> If you don't want me to leave. Uh, so the fryer's there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, kid. Awesome. Fry away. Cool, thanks. Those toss orders when, when they come in. Hey, I'll who's the new guy? Uh, some fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> what you say your what name up? Was? What up? What'd you say your name was? Oh, you, I'm just the fryer guy. Fryer guy. That's cool. I'm condiments. I'll nice. See you. <laughs> I do salads too. <laughs> Nobody orders a salad here. What's up, so salads? It's just mostly... Well, I prepare them just in case. <laughs> Darling, how was work? <laughs> yeah, I almost had a salad order. Felt it coming. The children, I <laughs> the 
children are so proud of me. Please sit down. It must have been a meow. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been such a. Is Dad home? Yeah. Your father's home. He almost had a. Oh, uh, we got an order for a fried salad. Sorry. <laughs> Technically yours. All right. <laughs> Guys, we gotta cut someone for the day. Okay. Yeah, we gotta cut somebody. All right. Well, uh, I wonder who it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, why don't you go home? Can you manage the fryer, Sal guy? What? <laughs> I said, can you put the wire basket inside the hot oil? It's not all it is. Yep. <laughs> okay, take off. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Yeah, no, no, I will. <laughs> what are your hands? What happened at work today? I put the bowl into the fryer. You're supposed to put it in a basket, darling. You're not supposed to just uh, set it in the <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 
five, six, Think of it, I'm the first human being to set foot on this island. It's uh, amazing. It's uh, a uh, really great instrument. Hello. Uh, uh, it's been a while since we speak, but we know your language. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Five, six, seven, eight! I will tell the rest of the crews about you! Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun! Oh, I'm gonna bring the kids! I'm so honored to meet you. I mean, I get there are bassists and there are drummers, but nobody just touches the ground and brushes the leaves like you. What a true artist. Did you autograph? Did you autograph? Did you autograph? Am I making you nervous? Am I making you nervous? You're making me nervous. which means we're all alone. <laughs> Six babies. Ah! Cabbage on the counter 
Why the? I'm yeah, we sorry. Have, I'm we sorry. Have, Thank we you. Have, have, <laughs> <laughs> you what? It's I've had this before. They do it. Talking and stick. They talking do it. Stick. Talking stick. They do it at gas stations inside of egg rolls. They don't. It's cooked. It's cooked inside egg rolls, and it do, it doesn't keep. It doesn't keep. You it think that it's not gonna work if we both have our hand on the talking stick? <laughs> well, we're both talking, aren't we? I do need one of you to hold the talking stick at. There, me. Okay. I have the conch. <laughs> I was thinking, if cabbage keeps all day at a gas station, that we would save some money and I would, and some calories and just eat cabbage that's been left out on the counter. <laughs> all right, there, there. How does that save fucking money? <laughs> How does it, you buy cabbage? Why, what, do like you buy bones of cabbage at a discount? Is that your idea? Or do you, what, do you just leave it on the counter to accrue and... Dank, you can't get a divorce. You're, you're 21 years old. Who's gonna marry you after this one? <laughs> <laughs> you practically got gray hairs coming out of your cooch. <laughs> Counter cabbage and, <laughs> and we you know it, Diane. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I am 21. <sighs> so I got you some arugula. <laughs> it's um it's a peppery lettuce. I know what arugula is. Yeah, okay. I live in North Dakota. Oh, I live in North Dakota. <laughs> You haven't come, come by to buy any cabbage in a long time. <laughs> My perpetual cabbage, I mean, it's fine. I'm sorry, the cabbage guy, okay. I just... I just... Uh, you light up my life. Oh my god. <laughs> that feels like an angry to you. When you come by and you buy 80 heads of cabbage and I load them into your green truck, Yeah. I just I feel real special. <sighs> I'm married to the wrong man. <laughs> oh, uh, he came for cabbage. Well, the cabbage man died. Damn it! He just racked up too much cabbage. He dang gum drowned in it. That's right. Still ain't found him. He couldn't sell it off. He couldn't sell it off, so he sold off his house I and started the now. sleeping in the cabbage. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? What's that little wailing sound? Now that's him for sure. That's definitely him. We're using it as a honing beacon, but we just can't pinpoint his body. Oh, did you want me to leave the number for now? For now. All right. Uh, he could still be alive. Oh, well, Cabbage is very echoey, so we can't tell where he is. <laughs> you gotta be like a bat to be able to trap that noise. I just left my husband! Now I'm alone! At 21! <laughs> my skin is gonna I'm fall sorry. off! Yes, like a kid in detention. 
That's it exactly, kid. Okay, you're finished. I did. Mm -hmm. Come here often? I pass through. <laughs> In a van. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. You must hear that all the time, though. <laughs> well, I am <laughs> so fresh. <laughs> place for me. I, I'm, I'm 23, so I know I'm kind of old, but Ugh. my wife, she was eaten by a rattlesnake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the hunt. Oh. Well, I know, I know I don't look it, but I am 18. <laughs> well, you look it. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I would also like to Yet remarried <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, so. Can I take your order? Yeah, I will have. She'll have. Oh, oh, really? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. By saying that you wanted to remarry with me, uh, you were entering a legally binding contract. Oh, God of damn me it. controlling. <laughs> You know what? Fuck this. Too late. Ladies and gentlemen, show up. Gentle reminder that uh, her new single, Drive? Yes. Yes, comes out <laughs> tomorrow. So go to iTunes tomorrow. It's your job. It's your job. <laughs> um, uh, thank you so much, Kat, for joining us tonight. <laughs> It's been our pleasure, uh, honestly. And uh, thank you to all of you for coming out. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Please come back again. Uh, thank you and, and have a good night.